DIY Maniac here, John P. Today's video, what to do when we have moisture or humidity in our tail light of our vehicle. Uh, in this particular video, it's more specific to the CM generation Santa Fe, so 2007 to 2012, but uh, may, that's mainly for the removal and the reinstallation of the tail light assembly itself, but the overall how we're going to go about to fix that uh, moisture issue is pretty much applicable to any vehicle. So. In this vehicle, it's seven years old or a little over seven years old. I've had this tail light assembly on this passenger side replaced twice now, under guarantee. So the last time I had it done was about two, two and a half years ago. Since then, I haven't had it under warranty because it's warranty's over. And I don't want to spend whatever Hyundai wants to charge $300 for a tail light assembly. Um, if you go on Rock Auto, you could get it for under $100. Pretty much what happens is the seal on the tail light itself um, fails and allows moisture inside. So what happens is you get some fogging um, inside the tail light or excessive water build up, which is what I had. I pretty much had like an inch of water on the bottom of that tail light. Um, so I'm going to show you what we need to do to go about removing the tail light assembly. So we're going to open our rear hatch, and if we look inside, we have an access panel right here, and you can see there's two little. Um, tabs here that you can put a flat-headed screwdriver into that tab pry it and it pops open and if we look inside that allows us you can see the airbag the side curtain airbag there and if we look a little further back um, I already have one of the bolts removed but you could see there's three threaded studs coming from the taillight assembly um, and all three of them utilize a 10 millimeter hex nut that you'll take a 10 millimeter socket to remove. I already went ahead and removed one, um, and now I'm gonna remove the other two. So you could use um, a ratchet, or what I do is um, a socket, 10 millimeter socket on a screwdriver. And we're gonna go ahead and remove those three hex nuts. Just be careful guys removing them, because if you drop them down here, you ain't getting them back. So what I like to do is loosen them up with the ratchet or the screwdriver, and before they're all the way off, finish it off by hand so your fingers are holding on to it so you definitely lessen the chance of losing it down below. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those remaining two nuts and show you what it looks like. Three um, hex nuts and here's our tail light assembly and all you got to do is slide it out. So you're going to pull backwards away from the vehicle and that's going to allow us to pull the assembly away and show us what's in behind and what the next steps are. So the next steps are pretty simple. First step, you're going to want to release the wiring harness from its retainer over here. So you can see it's just a little plastic hook. It's part of the head, the tail light assembly. You're going to squeeze it and force the wires out, and that'll come loose. And then we have three light bulbs. We have a little one here that we turn counterclockwise and to release. We have the bigger one here that we're going to turn counterclockwise and release that's our turn signal and then we have our brake light that same thing counterclockwise and release now all three light bulbs are out and we have to remove this wire over here from this retainer see if i could do this one-handed i can hold on to the assembly and pull it away from the vehicle and that allows us to bring the assembly out. So when we pick up the video again, I'm gonna show you the steps I'm gonna to take to reseal the tail light assembly to stop the moisture from going back in. So we have the tail light assembly on the workbench, so it's a little bit easier to work with. <coughs> you can see the humidity inside, it's uh, fogging up. I got pretty much 99% of the water out of the, the assembly. Like I said, when I removed it from the vehicle, there was a good uh, inch from the bottom of water. You know, so why does water get inside these housings? They're supposed to be 100% perfectly sealed. But like anything, with time, those seals could break or become weakened, which weakened, which would allow uh, moisture inside. And usually in this case, when you got water coming in, it's the seal is broken on the top edge. So as we know, water comes down the car body, and that's where it'll flow inside. And with this particular assembly, I was able to confirm that because when I turned the assembly upside down, so when it still had water in it, I saw water seeping out of this joint here 
uh, where it's supposed to be sealed. I can see the water coming out. So I know it's this seam here that's um, no longer sealing. So the way it's done from the factory on this assembly and most, um, there's a gasket material or like a, a silicone material adhesive that holds the two pieces together. And there's some fasteners on the other side that help press the, um, keep the two pieces together. So if you wanted to go about disassembling the assembly, like I've done in the past, you would remove these fasteners, the mechanical fasteners. Then you would take your light assembly and you need to warm it up to alleviate that adhesive that's holding these two pieces together. The way I would do it in the past is put it in the oven at about 200 Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. You want to really be careful with this step. If you go too hot or too long, you could deform the plastic. So put it in the oven about 20 minutes, 200 Fahrenheit, softens that gasket material, that adhesive, and allows you to pull it apart. It's still difficult, but you get a plastic scraper in there and separate it. Clean up all your gasket sealant material, put new sealant, put it back together. Guys, I'm not going to that step. This truck's seven years old, over seven years old. I'm changing it soon. I'm just going to go an easy route. So all I'm going to use is an exterior grade clear silicone. And I'm going to reseal from the outside the upper seat joint where I know the water is getting in from to stop the water from getting in. Uh, once you do that and you let it dry, what I want to do is there's still moisture in there. Now, if I reseal it, let it dry, put my light bulbs back inside, I'm sealing the unit again and I'm locking that moisture inside. Maybe with time, with the sun on it, the moisture itself will find a way to work out. But to speed up the process, I'm going to let the assembly sit in the sun without the light bulbs plugged in. So giving place for the humidity to escape and get all that moisture out before I reinstall it in the vehicle. So this is the right hand side of the um, uh, light assembly, so passenger side. So we know this is the top edge. So we know that's where the water is most likely getting in. So we're going to take our exterior grade clear silicone and we're going to go along that edge on the outside. So basically right here. And we're going to run a bead of silicone all the way along. And you could go all the way around the assembly because water could even be coming in as it drips down, coming in through the side. The bottom of the assembly, do you need to put a bead of silicone? No, because I mean it's on the bottom. If any water were to get back into the assembly, it would have a place to come out. But, you know, you really want to keep this unit 100% sealed. You know, you don't want any kind of moisture from the air being able to get inside. So you could run your bead of silicone around the whole assembly. So that's what I'm going to do. You know, I mean, this is just a quick and easy way to fix it. But at least it gives you guys an option if you don't want to go ahead pulling apart the whole assembly. So let me go ahead and do that. So I went ahead and I applied the silicone, like I said earlier. So as you can see here, it's a clear silicone. And I ran it on the top edge all the way down. Now, even though it's clear, you want to try your best not to get any where it's going to be visible on the outside. Yes, it's clear, but you'll still see it if you were to get it on the outside. But um, I kept it well behind. So that's where the, you know, the, the metal panels of the truck are. So you won't see where the silicone was. And I ran it all the way along the top. I ran it all the way down the sides and all the way down the sides here. Then what I did is I let it sit in the hot sun to get out all the water. And there's still a bit of water inside and there still is a bit, you can see a little bit dropped that's there. So I'm gonna be letting it sit outside a little more in the sun to allow that moisture to evaporate and to come out. Because if you were to install it back in the car right away and especially plug in those light sockets, you're basically, in theory, sealing off the units. So whatever moisture is in there will have a very hard time to evaporate out. So you want to leave those open, let it sit in the sun, allow that moisture to evaporate and to escape. Then once all your moisture is out of the light, you could go ahead and um, reinstall in the car. And I'll show you that step when I get to it. Okay guys, so once you've applied your silicone onto the taillight assembly and allowed it to dry, You've also allowed all humidity that was inside the taillight itself to evaporate out. We're ready to put the unit back into the vehicle. So it's reverse of what it was to take it apart. We have one alignment stud right there on the taillight assembly that fits into the hole right there. We have our three threaded studs that are going to be going into their respective holes on the vehicle. And then from the back side, where we that panel we removed to access those 10 millimeter hex nuts we're going to screw them back on so you can see all three are there and we're going to hand tighten we don't need to overdo it 
if you look on the studs themselves, you'll see there's these rubber washers that kind of compress as you tighten. So you don't need to kill it. Just, you know, hand tight, nice and snug, and you're good to go. And you're going to um, snap that panel back into place here. And that's pretty much it. So it's not really too complicated to put it back together. Um, the only other thing that needs to be done is your wiring harness. Don't forget that it cl clips on the back of the taillight assembly right here. There's like a little holder for it just to stop it from moving around. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I mean, guys, that's, um, you know, it's a simple video on how to take care of some moisture in a taillight. So let me know if you have any questions down below. And thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care.